Happy New Week, my people. How on a day waiting, they have been waiting this up. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, let us quickly talk about the free merch. I'm talking about the free t-shirts and the free caps. First, I want to thank those of you that made that possible. I'm talking about the sponsors because these people didn't pay for shipping. They didn't pay for the for the t-shirt or the caps uh, so i just want to use this opportunity to thank you some of the people that got the, the free merch they reach out with videos and uh, some of them sent pictures actually my name is muna underscore flourish thank you for my wonderful gift i really love this i was not expecting it to be this good but it's so so nice i really love the texture and everything about it thank you for the gift i did not pay for the delivery i just went there and took it I do, i'm just coming back from the place anyways thank you so much i love it mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, so thank you guys once again and guys don't forget to patronize me okay like i sell t-shirts cabs and pullovers and uh, yeah i sent to uk now though yeah the shipping is just a little bit pricey uh thank you that's enough let us quickly get right into today's news okay guys i'm actually shocked i saw this this morning i just quickly want to chip it in i didn't plan to talk about this i'm just surprised to still see their advert running revolution plus property their advert is still out there for those of you that follows my channel you know these people have they've got history right and you know not so good one guys i had in the video the first thing i saw was instant allocation and i was like i mean these are the people that struggles to allocate lands you know to um their, their customers their clients the ones that have been there like years ago although they did this a uh, mass allocation you know at some point when the news was crazy out there like the news about them and not allocating anything but collecting money some people seven million some people paid 11 million five million after that you know we got the information that they did some mass allocation but some people are yet to receive their papers for the land so we are yet to hear you know updates on that even while that was still out there right these people tell their ambassadors to keep advertising to keep talking about it like the recent one i saw so Bodashagi, you know, Bodashagi talking about how you can instantly uh, get, you know, a land and be a landlord within 48 hours. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Well, have you heard about instant allocation from Revolution Plus? Don't worry, if you have not yet, I will tell you, I will teach you, I will pass knowledge to you. Let me educate you. When you pay now, you will get your land in the next 48 hours. That one sure that. Your survey and detail, it will be ready in 30 days. Oh yeah, it's happy. <laughs> Hello, go to Revolution Plus, buy that with us. Because we both say what? The buying of land in Revolution Plus is a forever greatness of international. Oh yeah. Thank you. Revolution Plus property, affordable housing. Yeah, I would just like to know the update about their their previous clients. Did these people get what they paid for? That's what one thing I would like to know. Okay, guys, let us move straight to the next one again it's monday so it's a combination of old news and new reports not really old news like two days ago uh, or a day ago i mean whatever happened over the weekend and now or till now here we have um kubana chief priest and I, I was actually surprised it took this long and why are people shocked that efcc arrest kubana chief priest uh, the first time i heard the news i wasn't really surprised because i already knew there were reports and, and you guys should know like seriously the report that efcc will go for obi kubana and his associates so it's not just obi kubana his associates those um link with him somehow the efcc guys will reach out to them they will definitely ask them some questions guys again we shouldn't be surprised you still get to see more stuff in the future efcc they're really really watching and that doesn't mean that they see something wrong with this person as long as you link to you know their number one suspect they'll definitely come for you that's how they do guys let us move straight to the next news which i, I would describe it as the big news of the day i'm talking about the grammys right whiskey lost the two categories it was nominated for and nigerians we're so sad about it uh the first person they called out was 
Angelique Jo. What she's singing, that's what they said. Obviously, Essence was the biggest song. So why would Angelique Jo's album, in fact, Whiskey's album made the Lagos the best album so far. So why would Angelique Jo win the Grammy? Uh, we're just talking, it's funny, guys, we're just talking about Whiskey. And by the way, the Angelique Jo's album is called Mother Nature. We're just talking about Whiskey. We have other people in the same categories, right? We have other Nigerians, to be specific. We have Femi and Madi, but you know, the thing is, it was very obvious, uh, glaring that Whiskey, sh I mean, should win. And those people were nominated alongside, you know, him. He seemed to be the one with the biggest song and the biggest album. So it was quite obvious. So why didn't Whiskey win? I think what people need to understand is these Grammy organizers, some of them are white people. Most of them are white people. Number two is they are old people. Let's just say they are foreigners, you know. I wouldn't say white because, yeah, there are some blacks among them. But they are foreigners, okay? And they don't really know much about Afrobeat. Okay, I know the question you ask is, <clears throat> yes, there are some who know about Afrobeat and this. Yes, we know there's some of them who know about Afrobeat, the song and all that, but how updated are they, you know, when it comes to, you know, trending songs, songs that is, you know, making waves, songs that is getting more streams. Maybe they put all that into consideration and still give it to Angela Kijo. But again, guys, let us look at it from another perspective. Angela Kijo, you know, is from Benin Republic here. She's still an African. I think it's fine. It's a win-win. You understand? But seriously, it came as a big shock because nobody is expecting this. Another one, the, nom the second nomination, you know, Whiskey loses to this, um, this lady in the categories of the best global music performance. Mohabat won that that category, the, the, the song Mohabat. Angelique Joe is now a four-time Grammy Award winner. Congratulations to her. Guys, let's talk about four Nigerians nominated for this Grammy Award. Number one is Whiskey, two nominations. Bonaboy, one nomination. Femi Kuti, two nominations. Made Kuti, one nomination. So, I mean, we should also mention other people, not just Whiskey, whatever they use, whatever rules that they use to choose these people. It's up to them. They own the award. If we they vex, make we go start our own award, right? I mean, that's what they're trying to tell us. Like, if you guys are so pissed, why not organize your own award and see how easy it is to give awards? So I think blacks, um, Africans, we should also think about how to um, organize a big award that is like very, very important, you know, all over the world. Like whoever receives it knows that they've received one of the best award in the world just like Grammys, because these people will always do whatever they like. And I understand a lot of Nigerians are not just happy, you know, about it. Here, um, Dami Adenuga says, the Grammy Award is this weekend, time for Whiskey FC to feast. Now, this was before the Grammy Award. Nigerians were at anticipated, they were like, no doubt. Whiskey's got to win at least one award. Well, <sighs> he didn't. I mean, this person was so sure of it. He said, if Whiskey no call it Grammy tomorrow, Make him die. <laughs> and Whiskey didn't. He lost. And he said, <laughs> I know go die in Jesus' name. Una de <laughs> that was funny. But uh, they also reposted videos on social media. This was huge, right? People lashing out at um, this lady, Anjali Kijo. And I don't really know why. We should just be talking about Grammy. I was not giving Whiskey what we think he deserved right and if they think he doesn't deserve it maybe next year whiskey will win because that's how these people do again sam clef had reacted before the award night sam clef says today history will be made afrobeat has risen today is a win for all don't count the birds again don't forget we have non whiskey fans who don't want whiskey to win even though they are nigerians well this person says god whatever you do don't let whiskey win this thing Another person, and you'll be shocked. This is Davido's lawyer. He says, I don't know much. I don't speak on these things, but we all know that I would belong to Essence. They gave the world an anthem. Like I've said earlier, a lot of Nigerians are angry. And here is a video of Isoko Boy talking about it. 
But what is this Ajene Lajoki self? Even they have been Ajene Lajoli. What is she? They even the six say web say they go carry the full award of web say whiskey deserve. They go carry carry and give Ajene Lajoli. I don't understand. What is she even they sing? The live who made the Lagos where them SSD. Our whiz, big whiz, my day. Piece of me day. I love you, love. Bless web see the fish all them uh, them amali day. Because they go carry our work, give Ajene Lajoli. You go find our community that is singing. This is like Grammy on the day. This one I wore there, eh? We we'll cast our love. <laughs> Here we have another person who posted this, um, posted this video <laughs> just to compare side by side, you know, to compare Whiskey's song with Angeliki Joe's song. <laughs> okay, guys, that is it about the award and the Grammy stories and stuff like that. I understand. We don't even know why Whiskey wasn't given the award, you know, like we don't know the criteria, and the Grammy wouldn't even tell you anything, they wouldn't even explain anything to you. But yeah, that's about it. Let us talk about DJ Maforisa as it breaks down how he discovered Ama Piano through Whiskey. The crazy stuff about Ama Piano Limited is so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so Ama Piano is, is, is like a kind of like an underground movement, right? So we, I had a booking in Pretoria. So he was there in South Africa. So I say we went together there. So when I finished DJing, the DJ started playing Ama Piano. Mm. So what happened in, when the DJ started playing on my piano, he started getting goosebumps. Wow, you know whiskey. Saying? Yeah, you wow. know what I'm saying? He was telling me, what's this sound? You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, we need to be on the song. I'm missing this vibe and stuff. So I, the, from there, I started searching kind of like the Mapiano DJs and whatever. I started to learn the sound and whatever. And then So it boom. was new to you yeah, then it too? Was boom. Yeah, Wow. So that was the craziest moment because like he put me on actually. And wow. I didn't say that. It was like, actually, uh, Wizkid put me on on my piano wow. because it was like, it was a sound where it was underground and it was just mostly instrumentals or the guys would just remix and take a popular song and just remix it and stuff. So that's where actually I started, you know, searching on my piano DJs and stuff. And then that's where I met Bo Kabza, Kabza the Small and stuff. And then it's like, wow. Boom, the rest is, yeah. the rest is history. Yeah, it was just one, just to listen, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's important to pay attention, you know, it's like, okay. Because for me, it's like when you got goosebumps, it's like, okay, this, this music means something. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if Whiskey can understand this thing, wow. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so that's really dope, man. That's then we started vibing, started vibing, yeah. Okay, guys, so we didn't win the, the Grammys this year. We didn't make it to World Cup, but David Doe actually helped us out. He came through, right? And you are not going to World Cup, but David Doe said, I will. <laughs> and he actually went to World Cup because it was featured in the, you know, official World Cup soundtrack recently. And David Doe, of course, is not shy to celebrate himself. And guitar rehearsals over one killing it. Nigeria didn't qualify. I did. <laughs> okay, guys, here we have Tonto DK and Popo Cree. Um, remember the incident that happened between Tonto DK and Popo Cree back then? A lot of people actually supported Tonto DK and they blasted Popo Cree for um orchestrating or for releasing an audio tape although the audio tape didn't come out directly from him but the lady actually confessed um she said that it was Popo Kri who orchestrated it who is behind it he knows um about the um leaked audio tape it's a planned work it wasn't really leaked it was intentional Okay, he got blasted and all that. Later, we got information that Tonto DK, Tonto DK refused to release this guy's truck or car. She wasn't with the papers then, but she was with the car. The guy was able to get back his car. Though, I think the guy gave her uh, as a gift, but he got it back because he's got the papers. She could have, you know, asked him to get the car or change the document to her name, but she didn't. So the guy, you know, I want back the car. And after that, everywhere was silent. You know, we didn't hear much about Tonto DK. Although Tonto DK have been trying to trend. Uh, she said some stuff after that, but really never really got our attention. 
and now Tonto DK posted a video of Book Book Read twerking. Although it's a funny video, but the first thing that comes to your mind is I think Tonto DK is yet to move on. I mean, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Like, I think Tonto DK is yet to move on. It was a messy breakup. Why would do you still have these guys' uh, video on your phone? <laughs> this raised suspicion on social media because of it Tonto DK reacted to that and be like no why would I um you know be in a relationship with a street dog or streets uh, this guy belongs to the streets this was the person that represented your son's dad you know during an event you took him there and we saw pictures on social media Tonto DK said she is just expressing how she feels at the moment that's why she posted the video of Bobo Green twerking this is the same guy you dated right back then and the breakup was messy on social media so why do you still have the video so it's the video it's not your mood it's not about your mood it's the video so it's make it seem like oh Tonto DK is yet to move on she had said what belongs to the street stays in the street and what on my phone is mine cruise pon cruise and anyone can be my little memes it's the lack of faith that i would probably bring back the street dog for me yes you can say all these crazy things about him but he still lives somewhere in your heart it's still there and she says uh borderly is a public d and you think that's something i will manage like when i fall my hand but like, like I always say, I never ever give a second chance. I'm not Jesus. My name is King Tonto. Like I think <laughs> Tonto DK rest after seven working days and start awala all over again on social media. Because like seriously, the guy had to reply this. I had to reply her. Called Tonto DK and Ashawo a prostitute. Let us read exactly what he said. In as much as I don't like trouble in as much as I don't like trouble, okay? I don't shy away when I see one. Community pain, you said, fine, but for your, for every husband you've slept with, every boyfriend you've snatched, and the dirty life you've lived, you need to make peace with God and free yourself from this obvious depression. And he said, a shower. Okay, getting serious. Well, Tonto DK replied him, you know, for calling her a prostitute. Oga Popo, from morning till night, I beg, between me and you, who is the prostitute? Name the names of the husbands I have snatched or boyfriends. Name a place, any blog, join me together with anyone's husband. Oh, I call you a community public D because that's who you are or something. Plus, your mother is the he, from a mother to a... <laughs> a mother with love you obviously can't take half the she you have done to me so don't cry when i feel the need to start a street dog is a street dog very serious speaking about serious issues here we have cora cora uh posted a video you know over the weekend and she said that uh, today is a move day so she moved out of the house i think to another house or something but she's gonna give us updates it's funny right like she's gonna give us updates like we are a family <laughs> because we're sure that she's gonna give us updates we getting so much details about this families on social media from no one but them nobody is out there no insider was out there or friends sharing the story they are the ones sharing the stories the husband will come out come out on social media share his own part the wife will come out on social media share on part but she refused to explain in detail what happened between them the husband has always been the one giving us updates we the family members uh social media family members i don't know how comfortable people feel watching their dirty linen on social media today is move day we're moving we're moving and i'm gonna be packing up a lot of my stuff um we found a place it was very fast it was very impromptu too but we eventually did and we we're moving today and it's a move day so join me as i get prepared 
tile. <laughs> Let's get to moving. My house is a shit hole. My house is very dairy right now. It's so dairy. Oh my days. You go what that's in? Yeah, but this is no longer my house. So let me share up. Let me share up and mind the house that is my house. Hmm. It's time to pack all these clothes into the boxes. And they just came out of one week ago. <laughs> We're packing it back. He will not sense Bobo one again. Hunting me. Shame bunny. Oh my gosh. Covered this house. With the blood of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. You did it! I did it! <laughs> my eyes twitching a little bit. My hair is going to be Well, you did it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Speaking about washing your dirty linen on social media, here we have um, Joker and Olu Jacob's son. Uh, remember in the previous video, we reported that uh, his marriage or their marriage crashed. The lady was actually the one who came out to say that nobody else. She came out to say, we're no more together. So now she came back and she was like, I was just being sarcastic about your marriage you're being sarcastic saying you guys are separated you guys are divorced after three years oh it's a joke now okay they now joke about divorce about separation how how does your husband feel and that is if it's true maybe they called out to order like hey come come calm down maybe, maybe we're yet to sign the divorce papers so calm down you're still legally married maybe but something is going on in that in that space a lady don't joke with their marriage they don't try to be sarcastic by saying we're no more together or we're divorced i don't know i think something is going on maybe legally they're still married i mean even in that post she said yes god could do anything or there's nothing impossible for god to do if i could remember correctly but there are some things that god don't have to repair or do something like that so it's serious i know she's going through something and she's refused to go further here she says those who know me know that I can be quite playful and one of the ways I like to connect with my community um, of followers is through my Instagram stories, a space purposefully curated to be lighthearted, serving as a virtual extension of my jovial personality. And now I generally refrain from discussing my personal life better within this space. However, after a series of incessant and borderline insensitive in inquiries um, about my marriage, I responded in the best way I knew I could through humor and retorted with sarcasm. But given how fast far and wide the appearance of bad news can spread i have realized the need to be more cautious in my public interactions um on that note uh, soji and i are still happily married and i will not be discussing this issue any further moving on to the next one here we have annie dbs brother yes uh, the reason why i just have to do this i mean talk about this guy is because we started it so you must know how it ends here even though some of you must have watched it you know you've got to also hear from me the guy apologized wisdom macaulay apologized to annie macaulay finally good day nigerians my name is wisdom macaulay I want to use this opportunity to apologize to my sister, Annie Macaulay Idibia, to her husband and the entire Idibia family. I also want to apologize to my mother, to my wife, and to my in-laws. I am truly and deeply sorry for the outburst that occurred a couple of days back. I also want to use this opportunity to reach out to Annie's colleagues in the industry to help me beg Annie to find a place in her heart to forgive me. My sister Annie is not on any form of drug. I have never seen it with her. 
I am not on drugs either. I have been under a lot of depression for a long time now. And I know and I've come to realize that the route I took wasn't the right one. It's just a whole lot going on. And to feel that your food or your source of income is being taken away from you, it is what led me to lay in all those false allegations against my family member. I am truly and deeply sorry again. Annie, 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 also, I am a movie producer and a fashion designer. I want to also use this opportunity to beg well many Nigerians and people worldwide who would come across this video, who would want to give me a chance to establish myself and to stand as a man. You can reach out to me through my DM or on my phone number. Please, Nigerians, Nigerian youths, I am truly and deeply sorry. My sister is not on drugs. My sister is not on any form of drugs. I am not either. It came from a bad place and I apologize for it. Mbok, Mbok, I need to do it. I am my mobile nasia, or my mobile phone, or phone. I use nasia. I drop it in. It a king. Thank you. Okay, guys, we have politics here. Governor Yahaya Bello called the names of his three wives on TV, and he forgot the, the last one. This is what happened when you marry more than one wife. My dear wife. Okay guys, that is where we're going to hold it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, to this question. If you become Nigeria's president for 24 hours, which of these issues will you solve first and why? Number one is insecurity, two is ASU strike, um, three is epileptic uh, power supply, and four is fuel scarcity. Um, leave your answers in the comment section below. Thank you once again for watching. Until we see you next time, peace.